let's go. Are you guys watching this? This is awesome. Ow! 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 Middle earth. We are doing 36 kilometers an hour. <laughs> machine, look, machine. Well, we have arrived at the start of the trail and this is what it looks like. You can see it's kind of like swampy nothingness. It's kind of just like, it's really usually like really muddy and it's just... I don't know, it's just, it's like the last three trails I was hoping to ride kind of just ended up usually like this or a dead end. It's made kind of like the trail riding in Norway P pretty difficult, you know, like Because here it's either really rocky, so it's super hard to climb like any even just a semi steep gradient And two even when it's flat you get kind of this swamp Right, so obviously on a fat bike I and mean, this is the best bike you could be on but it's not really rideable a lot of it's just stopping and starting and I gotta I gotta keep looking you know like I think Maybe the coast isn't the best place because it's quite low lying. So anything that's kind of flat is just a swamp. Maybe I should go further inland. But anyway, for now at least, I just gotta follow the paved road. too lazy to go look for a camping spot we get the drone to do it for us <laughs> no seriously that's the thing right when you're looking for a camping spot it, like has to be kind of hidden especially if you're in kind of a town like this reasonably flat um, ideally grassy not rocky or anything right big thing in this country and it can just be a pain just like bike riding around looking for one and what you can do in half an hour on the bike you can do in two minutes with this machine. So, common sense says, let's use it. Woo, it's so exciting. I love this bit. Buddy, work your magic for me. All right, there he is. Let's go. Uh -oh, something's happening, it's crashing. Why is it making that sound actually? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, oh. can you can you see me? Let's go. Alrighty, 
Well, we have a little choir in the background and some pissed off birds. I think this is kind of their area. They just got annoyed this morning, so I don't know. But um, anyway, so it's been quite a few days actually that um, I was riding into Trondheim and I was only meant to stay there like a few days, but I ended up actually dropping my new phone on the floor ugh, and smashed the screen. So I had to get my old one sent to me thanks to some awesome friends. So um, I spent longer than I expected and it was like trip wise, it was really good. Sometimes it's important to stop and, geez, they are really keen, aren't they? Sometimes it's important to stop and I guess kind of reassess and rethink and get yourself in a different mindset and what is going on? And one thing I hadn't mentioned actually is that um, a lot of people ask me about kind of how you afford to do one of these trips and it's literally just, there's two parts of the equation, right? How much you spend before you go on the trip and the second one is how much you spend when you're on the trip. And that literally just determines how long you can travel for, right? There's no like magic formula, you know? So either it means you save lots of money if you want to spend quite a bit, or it means if you're willing to spend less on your trip, then you can save less money. So that's, it's that simple, right? So um, anyway, that being said, I, um, I'm looking, I guess, the last few months of at least this trip where um, I need to go and earn some money, you know? <laughs> Doesn't last forever. These dudes, you need to chill out, bro. You need to chill out. 